Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine tutorial that will show you a quick and easy way how you can create intensive emissive materials. Now there is already a short tutorial on my channel on the process of creating emissive materials in general, but this, let's call it a hack, it's not really a hack, it's a simple setup of material editor, will show you how you can, through basically only two nodes, get a means to turn your emissive materials into really intensive sources of light. I'm going to show you how you can do it and I'm going to show you how it's going to function in my level which isn't the best example for anything that is light related because it has kind of an ample amount of light but still you'll see the difference pretty quick in any case. So the first step is obviously to create a new material by right clicking and choosing material. We're going to call it emissive and we're going to double click on it to open up the editor. Of course we're first of all going to change the base color by using the constant tree vector node. Again right click and choose constant tree vector and here we have it we're going to connect it to the base color and edit it by double clicking on it and here we're going to modify the colors towards something of a yeah let's say this yellowish specter we're going to close that and right from the get-go we can simply connect the same base the same color the constant vector not just to the base color but also to the emissive color. Now, if we save, and I'm going to do just that, we should have something that has the same emissiveness, but is not actually emitting much light. Instead, it will basically just glow, especially in dark levels and places that have no additional lighting. But in this case, as you can see, the a level of emissiveness is almost unnoticeable on this setup. So we're going to break this connection and we're going to add another node which is multiply. As you can see it's right here and we're going to connect the constant tree vector with emissive color and from here we're going to change the constant B value making it a lot more prominent, a lot more colorful, not just in terms of the emissiveness, but in terms of amount of light it produces. So instead of one, we're going to set it to, let's say 80. Again, we're going to save so that the preview gets aligned and set up. From there on out, we should see that the new version of the same material is much much more brighter and it's emitting a lot more light as you can see but we can go even further and set it to let's say 180. Again we're going to save, we're going to wait a second or two until it gets updated and we're going to see again much much more light coming out from the same emissive material. Here we have something that is truly glowing. I'm going to move it, uh, the material editor, dock it here. I'm going to add a sphere and I'm going to place the same emissive material upon it by simply dragging and dropping it. Here it is. And as you can see, the amount of light it produces is not small by any means. So if we check it out in the game, I have a mirror right here. It's reflecting all over the place, but there is also, when you come close to it, a lot of light coming from it. You can see even the reflections on my gun and at, in the rest of the elements of the level. That's it basically, the process as you can see is both simple and straightforward. The key element is the multiply node where you can tweak and modify the amount of light you want to have coming from your emissive material and thus creating it much more intense and 
stronger effect of light emissions coming from the same material. That's it for this tutorial, hopefully you found it useful, hopefully you got the answer you were looking for if you found this video through a search. If you did, please consider supporting me by subscribing, liking this video, leaving any comments or questions if you might have them in the comment section below. There is also a bunch of other ways how you can support me, I'm selling books here, I have a Patreon page, bunch of stuff, but you can easily ignore those unless you want to really help me out, in which case I'm super grateful, and simply subscribe for more Unreal Engine beginner tutorial videos that you can check out in coming weeks and months. Thanks once more for watching, have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.